Owen. Yo! Time for our next eBay break. 2017-18 Ascension Basketball Half Case Break number 18. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Let me move this over. See what we got in this. Took all the packs out. Uh, Jimbo, we're gonna do that tomorrow, man. Jason and I need to go back, watch videos. Uh, we told our sorters a little bit too late to keep track of who went hitless, but they did start doing it. But we told them a little bit too late, so there's a, a few days there that we have to go back and watch videos and stuff. But we'll do that tomorrow, Jimbo. Thank you. Thanks for asking me how I'm doing. Hey, Uncle Jesse, how the fuck are you? Hope all is well. Did you enjoy your time off? Oh, man. You know, how's life treating you? How, how are you? How, are you happy? Are you sad? You know, how's your mom doing? How's your dad doing? How's your family? No, no, just, nope, just a weekly giveaway, I see. See how it is. See how it is, Jimbo. Yeah, exactly, Jim. That's exactly how I feel. You know, come in. Oh, don't even say hi to me. Oh, no. Just up. Giveaways! See how it is. All jokes aside, though. Uh, every Thursday, I believe, is when we're going to be doing that. Every Thursday. I know we're running a little behind on that. But from Thursday to Thursday, that's that's the week right there. Just uh, for mo so moving forward. There we go, John. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm dude. I'm doing wonderful, actually. I've uh, been chilling. I uh, got to hang out with my buddies the last couple days, so that was pretty cool. You know, don't don't get to see my friends as often as I'd like anymore. Uh, for those of you that uh, have broken before or have been in this business, you would know that uh, this thing is pretty much a 24/7 deal. There are no days off when it comes to this, so the fact that I did have two days to myself and whatnot. Is amazing. But what about you, John? How's everything with you, man? How's life treating you, bro? Hope all is well. Hope you had a great weekend.
That's right, Jimbo. You went. You went. Uh, I thought you were. I thought you were like hunting or something again. So you went on a golf trip. The the family's good, man. Everybody's chilling. You know, I like to. I just like to give you crap, Jimbo. You know how. You know how I am. Giving Galaga a break, playing a little Fortnite. What do you play on, John? Are you a PlayStation guy? Are you an Xbox guy? Are you Master Race PC gamer? I mean, what, what are you? That's another thing I actually got to do this weekend. I actually got to play some video games. I haven't done that in a while. That was kind of fun. Ah, you're Master Race. Gotcha, John. I tried playing Fortnite. Nah, not into it. You know, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm one of. Um, what do you call those? I'm. A, I'm stupid. So. Yeah. I can't do two things at once. I can barely aim and shoot as it is. But now you gotta add the element of like building stuff too. No. My man finished third in the world championships for Galaga. That's impressive. Oh, but third place. I don't care. That is impressive. I wish I could play video games like that again. I was playing Persona 5 last night. Played that for a few hours. That was fun. Oh, on Twitch, nice. There you go, John. Free trip, and you play, and you want a little moolah playing a video game, living the dream. I was actually watching, uh, like, uh, I forget, it was something on Twitch. I don't know if it was like a world championship or something. I don't know what it was, but it was these dudes playing Tetris, and I thought I was pretty good at Tetris. Oh no, they have these like world championship edition Tetrises, which are damn near impossible to play. It's ridiculous. Like you barely have time to like change, like move the piece around before it like drops all the way down. You have like maybe a second or two to make a decision. So like I thought I was good at video games, but not, not, not competitively apparently. Plus, I'm, I'm more of like a RPG kind of guy, you know? I like playing role-playing games. You know, I'm one of those where I could, like, you know, I could just... I can't do it anymore, but I used to be able to just sit in front of my TV for, for the whole entire day and just grind away, getting EXP, killing monsters, whatever. Just grinding. Yeah, man, I've, tr I've bro, Counter Strike, League of Legends, all that stuff, man. People, people make pretty good living doing that stuff. Not to mention they stream on Twitch and stuff like that. So sometimes they get donations and whatnot. See, I can't get into MMOs, but RPGs are my life. Like Final Fantasy VII, I never played Final Fantasy VII. But I would I would watch my friend play it because he had a PlayStation. I did it. Great game, great game. They're actually remaking Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation Four, uh, Jimbo. Not sure if you knew that. I'm I'm looking forward to that. I don't know when that game will come out, but when it does, I hope I'm around to play it. Oh, dang, John, not trying to make you feel old here, bud, but you've been playing games longer than I've been alive. What up, Big Greg? What it do? Chilling like a villain. You know how I'm doing. Final Fantasy VII is the best game ever. I, 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 I can't disagree because it's an amazing game. Uh, Kyle, I have not opened it. I'm literally just opening up all the packs right now. Uh, but I do have each stack separate. 
But I'm pretty much, I'm just opening packs right now. I have not gone through any of the Ascension 18 stuff yet. No, I hear you, John. Listen, that's awesome, bro. Like, when I when I was growing up, you know, uh, my, my cousins passed down to me the original Nintendo. You know, I had Dunk Hunt and Mario on it. Those, those are some of my earliest memories, man. Playing that, you know, my cousins also had the Atari 2600. So I would play Pong on that. You know, I we had we had the Atari 2600, the original Nintendo. We had the Super Nintendo. I would play Mortal Kombat and freaking Street Fighter on that thing all day. Man, good times. But yeah, Final Fantasy VII, I can't... I mean, I, I watched a good portion of it. You know, I, I saw him beat the game and whatnot. I was even there when he was, like, grinding away. I was even there when he fucking beat uh, Emerald Weapon, one of the toughest bosses in video game history. It's a great game, but I gotta, I, I gotta go with my personal best game ever, Ocarina of Time, The Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. In my opinion, the greatest game ever made. But enough about that. Let's see what we got here. First box mojo underweight. Good luck, everybody. See what we got. Number 55 out of 75, we have Josh Hart. Autograph for the Lakers. These go in the 55s. Boom. What else we got? I believe these are the rookie variations here. Tyler Light and Nuggets rookie. Number two, one twenty five, Miles Turner, Pacers. Dennis Smith Jr., the rookie variation for the Mavericks. In there. The third of victory insert for John Wall. Wizards. That's a reaching new heights insert for the Rockets, James Harden. Jordan Bell, the rookie variation for the Warriors. What's up, Fitz? Man, Fantasy Star I would play. I recall Might and Magic, and I recall Breath of Fire. But, like, for me, my RPGs, <coughs> Legend of Zelda, Dragon Quest, the first Final Fantasy game I ever played was Final Fantasy X when I finally got a PlayStation 2. Dark Cloud was one of my favorite uh, RPGs c coming up to. <laughs> Jordan Bell, speaking of coming up to 129. Rookie World Champ for the Warriors. <coughs> what up, Fitz? How are you? You played the original Final Fantasy when it came out? Wow. I played the original Final Fantasy... <laughs> On my phone. <laughs> Marco Foltz. Rookie variation for the Sixers. Harrison Barnes, Warriors. Alright, one box down. Dark Cloud, one of my favorite games ever. I wish, I wish they would come out with some more Dark, Dark Cloud games. <clears throat> and when I went to, uh, you know, I, I usually, I had an N64, that was like my my first system, PlayStation 2, then I went to Xbox 360, 
they don't really have role playing games on Xbox 360, which is why I went back to the PlayStation after that. But they did have uh, they did have the Fable games. I don't know if you guys ever played Fable on the Xbox. Those are pretty fun. I don't even know what an Odyssey 2 is, John. Jeez, man. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to Google that thing. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> to 125, Andrew Wiggins, Timberwolves. AJ, nothing but a number, though, John. I bet you're young at heart, baby. Terrence Ferguson, young at heart. Rookie variation for the Thunder. Yeah, I can't even fathom graphics worth, worse than an Atari 2600. That's mind-boggling. Cinderia Stonewall Clippers, rookie variation. You and me both, John. You and me both. I just, I just wish, like, craziest, I just wish I had the time, man. Because, like, nowadays, even when I do have time to play video games, like, I'll play for, like, an hour or two, and then I just, like, ugh, I just, I just get bored. One uh, player I can't get bored of, though, this dude right here, Donovan Mitchell, 7 out of 50 rookie for the Jazz. That would have been even sweeter with some ink on it. Did I go through these already? Yes, I did. The Air Fox rookie variation for the Kings. I I have tried Fortnite. It's just not my cup of tea. I would rather play uh, Battlegrounds or PUBG, whatever it's called. Number to 299, Markel Fultz of the Sixers with the auto. That's a nice auto. I don't, I just don't like the mechanic of having to build and shoot. Like, no. Like, I'm dumb. Like, I can't multitask. I, I either want to shoot you in the face or I want to build a beautiful, nice palace. I don't want to, I don't want to have to, to do both. I played uh, PUBG. PUBG is fun. Fortnite, not really my cup of tea. But I watched my little cousin play it. And he he has like his own little YouTube channel and everything. On, and Twitch and all that. He like he could build an entire fort and shoot you in the face across the map all at the same time. I don't know how he does it. But good for him. But he can't beat me at Gran Turismo though. Luke Kennard. Rookie. Uh, uh, rookie variation for the business. Those, those are my games. I like racing games, sports games, and role playing games. Th that, those, that's my trifecta. Eric Gordon. I might, I might need to give me a Call of Duty game. I think they remastered Modern Warfare. I think what was it? Modern Warfare Two. I think got remastered. I might need to get my hands on that. Out of the uh, Kyle Kuzma die cut for the Lakers. Get in there. There you go. Let's go ahead and top load that now. Really? Huh. That would be interesting. I don't know. I think there's like a, a Call of Duty Strictly Zombies game coming out. I might have to get in on that. Dwayne Wade, 27 out of 75 for the Cavaliers. Frank Mason, the third. <clears throat> Rookie variation for the Kings. Justin Patton, rookie variation for the Timberwolves.
The auto just staring at me. Jawan Evans of the Clippers. With the auto. Numbered 62 out of 75. What do you have trading cards for, John? Do, 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 do. 17 out of 129. Justin Patton, rookie for the Timberwolves. Yeah, but what do you mean by trading cards? Like, what do you, what do you mean? Like Magic the Gathering? Like. Rookie variation for Tyler Dorsey Hawks. Some Barnes Warriors. Hmm. Semi Ojaleye, rookie variation. Oh, like you are on trading cards. Like you are on trading cards, John? Is that what you're saying? Samuel Jalea, rookie for the Celtics. The best pull I've gotten in Ascension. Man, that's kind of a tough one. Well, so far today, the best pull is probably the uh, the Markel Fultz of the Sixers. But uh, but man, I have had. Oh, what what uh, what what trading card games, John? Like Magic the Gathering. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon? Like, what? That's actually pretty awesome, John. Uh, best cards I've pulled out of Ascension? Man, take your pick. Kyle Kuzma, Donovan Mitchell, Lonzo Ball, Marco Fultz, Jason Tatum. All the big-name rookies. Dennis Smith Jr., I've pulled them all out of Ascension. <coughs> all the big-name rookies, I've pulled all of them. So pretty sweet. What do we have here? Twin Galaxies and Walter Day card sets. Huh. Walter Day, a video game referee and scorpion keeper. Known for Twin Galaxies. Which is video game scorekeeping. <clears throat> I might have to look into that, John. Nice. Yeah, Guinness uh, Book of World Records. Do you do you hold any current game uh, world records? Or any world records, period? Harry Giles. Die cut for the Kings. He spent his entire rookie year injured. But he's going to be nice. Kings got a lot of nice young talent. What do you hold the record for, John? What else we got here? Let's see if I can get into the record here with a sick hit. Number to 125, Boogie Cousins, Pelicans. Oh, nice. On Rock Band 2. Tyler Lydon, Rookie, Nuggets, Variation. My boy Mario, who does the uh, Pokemon stream for us, is pretty good at Rock Band. He's into those whole rhythm games and whatnot. Like DDR, all that stuff. Tony Bradley, rookie, radiation, jazz. We have another Juwan Evans auto for the Clippers. This one's numbered to 299.
We've got a Sterling Brown to 75 for the Bucks rookie. Luke Lennart Pistons rookie variation. Joe Johnson Sons. Wesley Ibundu, rookie magic variation. Boom, boom. So, what records do you hold in those games, John? Well, don't worry. I'll give a recap at the end of the uh, break, John. Dwayne Bacon with the autograph for the Hornets. That's number to 299. I need top loaders. Let's, let's do it to us, Scott. It might be in the last box for you. We have OG Anunobi. Die cut for the Raptors. Another good rookie right there. Who has lots of potential. I think they're going to blow that Rockets team up. The DeMar DeRozan Kyle Lowry experiment was a complete utter failure. Number 16 out of 25, LeBron James for the Cavaliers. Dang, John, I wish I wish I could comprehend the greatness you just put on me, but my my experience my experience with Galaga is quite minimal. But to have a world record in anything is impressive. Frank Mason the third rookie variation for the Kings. So I do commend you for your greatness, John. But I bet you can't beat me in Mario Kart. You probably can't. Justin Patton, rookie for the Timberwolves variation. Oh, dang. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive, John. Let's set it up, John. Let's set it up. I need to win. It's something in life. <laughs> to 129, De'Aaron Fox, rookie of the Kings. So are you teaching them the ways, John? You know, you, are, you, are you coaching them up? Like, your, your dad's a world champion. Guinness, Guinness, uh, Guinness record holder. Do you hold them to high expectations? Tyler Dorsey, rookie variation for the Hawks. Do you ever, like, delete their save files so that they can start all over again? <laughs> That's just cruel. Yo, you didn't do it right. You better you do it again. And I'm deleting all your save files until you get it right. That's that's just cruel and unusual punishment. Samuel Jaleye, rookie variation for the Celtics. Alright, last box mojo. What do we have? Number 26 out of 75, Jimmy Butler. Timberwolves. We got a rookie variation for TJ Leaf Pacers. Uh, Kyle, I'm not sure, man. I, I would have to look for the uh, sold listings on my eBay stuff. And I don't do that until the end of the night. 
so that I could get the reports for everything the entire day. So right now, I, I don't know, Kyle. Jonathan Isaac, rookie for the Magic variation. Dang, John, you got time to sleep? Jeez. Then again, I can't lie. I, I was the same way with uh, with Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy X. I would just, I would forget to sleep and eat. I would just play. I would just eat a whole bunch of moon. Just play all day. Josh Jackson, rookie variation for the Suns. Dang, John, that's dedication to your craft right there. Looking like the last one, numbered 6 out of 50. Rookie for the Pacers, TJ Leaf, the autograph. Boom, boom. What's in this deck here? Ivan Rab rookie variation for the Grizzlies. Number 27 on 75, De'Aaron Fox Kings, rookie. John, that would be awesome, but you got to autograph them if you're going to send them to me. That way I could put them up on the, uh, on the Wall of Fame. You don't have to do that, John, but if you did, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty awesome. Jason Tatum with the Celtics, die cut. Was pretty sweet. I wish I had some ink for you though, Celtics. Because that is going to do it for the break. So let's recap it here. So we had die cuts for Kyle Kuzma Lakers. What it do, Bean Dread? Uh, we have Harry Giles, Kings, OG Anunoby Raptors, and Jason Tatum Celtics. All of those die cuts. Got a couple number, well, a few numbers here. To 75, Fox Kings. 75, Butler Timberwolves. 129 Fox Kings, 75 Brown Bucks, 125 Cousins Pelicans, 129 Panton Timberwolves, 75 Bulls Cavs, I'm sorry, Dwayne Wade Cavs, 125 Wiggins Timberwolves, 129 Bell Warriors, and 125 Turner Pacers. Our autographs are... Josh Hart Lakers, 55 out of 75. Marco Fultz Sixers, 242 out of 299. Jawan Evans Clippers, 62 out of 75. Jawan Evans Clippers, 130 out of 299. Dwayne Bacon Hornets, 108 out of 299. And TJ Leaf Pacers, 6 out of 50. And that was the break. 2017-18, Ascension Basketball, half-case break number 18. Thank you very much, eBay. We'll get that out to you.